Welcome back to my channel guys and it's time for another anime review. This anime is both subbed and dubbed on Crunchyroll, I believe. Uh, yeah, I, I believe all 12 episodes are, or sorry, all 13 episodes are already out dubbed. Um, I actually watched um, most of it dubbed and uh, part of it subbed. So I watched both and, uh, you know, I think they did a good job in both versions. I'm not a, I'm not a big one side or the other type of guy. I, I know a lot of people are, but I kind of stand in the middle. I like both. I appreciate both. Um, anyways, you guys can find this, like I said, in Crunchyroll. This is The Misfit of Demon King Academy. Uh, this one aired back in the summer of 2020. Yeah, not that long ago. Uh, we're ending with the fall season already. We'll be entering winter uh, in just a few weeks. And gosh, it, it feels like we just started winter. But anyways, uh, this is going to be a... Um, Action, demon slash magical fantasy, uh, school life type of anime. Um, I don't know if I want to say harem is not really a harem, uh, but it does give you harem vibes uh, once in a while. So uh, you can you can include harem if you want, but it's not really. You know, most most uh, animes that fall in the harem category are obviously made for the guy to have all the girls liking him i wouldn't say that that particularly falls in this case two of them are there happens to be a third one towards the end of the anime uh, and there is a fan club that likes the main character but they don't really follow him throughout the entire series. So, before I continue, though, a few things. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We're trying to reach 4K before the year is over, and that would be a great Christmas present for me. So, make sure you subscribe. Also, guys, if you want to give more love to this channel, follow me on social media, TikTok, Twitter, uh, or Instagram, place places to follow me. You can also find me on Twitch as well as in my Discord. So, follow me there. If you're looking for a place to buy, anime and a manga for a cheap price there's also a link down there below so make sure you check it out so okay let's talk about this anime and what it is all about essentially we have this guy called Anos and Anos uh, he is a reincarnation of a demon lord from 2000 years ago and essentially he did some type of magic 2000 years ago where he would sacrifice himself for the sake of ending the war between heroes and demons and essentially that that's what happened when he reincarnates 2000 years later um there's this peaceful land in the demon world where there's an academy they go to the academy they grow strong become strong warriors and essentially it's very peaceful so he uh is born into this young couple he magically grows into an adult very fast and he essentially goes into school um and trains to be a demon i guess uh fighter in, in this whole thing he claims from the beginning that he is the lord and uh, most people don't believe him because he doesn't come from royal blood and it's kind of like a hierarchy in almost any anime if you don't come from pure blood then you're considered lesser than and he from the beginning is considered lesser than um and i guess throughout the whole anime that is a very common reoccurring theme of he and other characters are lesser than the pure-blooded um and he shows them off that no you don't have to be pure-blooded or you don't have to come from a certain family or a certain uh gene group to actually um be as strong as he is and everyone obviously falls in gaga when he actually shows his true power and he he is very 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 powerful uh he's able to resurrect people he's able to keep people alive uh there's two girls sasha and misha uh, who essentially came from the same s uh, source of soul uh sasha is the actual human and misha she's considered kind of like a doll or like um 
I don't know. She's created out of Sasha's soul, and she only has up to 15 years old to live. But Anos is actually able to um, get rid of that curse and actually give her a longer lifespan. And um, they they have a whole story on their own. They don't like each other, but they don't actually like each other because she's going to die, and they don't want to get too close to each other so that it is not painful when she is dead. But when she doesn't die, Misha and Sasha become basically best friends, and uh, they start following Anos. And now there's another character that's kind of main character in the story, and his name is Lei. Um, he essentially is a great swordsman, and he actually comes from a pure blood uh, group, and he is treated obviously differently. Everyone wants him to be a leader, uh, but he decides to go under Anos, and Anos obviously um, allows that with some conditions, and they essentially go into a fight to see how strong Lei is. And Lei actually ends up being a lot stronger than Anos believes him to be. Um, Lei is actually very strong and is able to um, use swords that Anos claims that only very, very few demons in his time were able to actually control and use. So Lei actually pretty strong character. Uh, at the end of the anime, uh, let's say like the last three, maybe four episodes, um, all the characters essentially go into this trip to the hero world and or side of the world and the, the hero side of the world. They also have their own academy and they're going to have this friendly competition between each other just to show each other their powers and their cap their their levels essentially or their limits. Um, Anos and his group obviously is put aside because they're lesser thans and the third year group that is pure blooded are the ones that compete first and Anos quickly uh, finds out that the hero side is cheating and essentially the last three episodes is like the most action packed uh, part of the whole series. Uh, there's obviously a lot of action throughout the the anime, so so don't think that that you're only gonna find action in the last episodes. But the most action packed episodes are probably the last two or three episodes. And essentially, they go through this tournament, and Anos relives and finds new uh, or old, sorry, old friends uh, and old enemies as well from the past through the hero world that he at the end ends up fighting so that in a nutshell is the whole series uh it's a pretty good series like i said um there might be more they can build from this uh, series but i would say these 13 episodes were enough um i I could be wrong. They could have another story behind it, but from from what it looks like, it looks like he has shown shown peace at the end of the series between the heroes and the demons. And um, I don't know. I don't know how much they could actually build from what they have already. So uh, out of ten, I'm gonna give this one. I'm, I'm gonna check here. Um, I'm gonna check here. Sorry, my screen's moved, so I had to move my head. Um, so. My enemy list puts this one at 7.39. I kind of agree with the rating. Um, I was going to give it a 7. I think it's one that you would enjoy. Probably will not be an 8 because it won't be as memorable as other animes that are airing this year. But I still think it's it's a decent story. I might even lower it to a 6.5 myself. I think 7.39 it's a decent score. I think they're over. They're giving it a little bit too much love, <laughs> but overall great story. I do recommend it. If you have time, uh, go watch it again. It is subbed and dubbed. So if you're washing dishes or whatever, and you just want to watch it because you want to put it in your list, then watch it dubbed and you'll finish it in a, a few hours. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Again, I will be trying to review more and more animes. Uh, for those who are asking when I'll be going live, um, I probably went live already this weekend, depending on this video posted, but I will try to go live more and more often. I know you guys want to see more uh, gameplays, so I will try my best to do that. Uh, make sure you subscribe so I can uh, see your support. 
and comment, like, and share. Follow me on social media. And guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.